I'm not gonna lie. Actually, the job market is warming up so quickly as so many new job opportunities out there. Everybody should get ready for the surge hiring season coming up. However, there's so many new changes in terms of hiring process and the new challenges facing in front of us. And getting a job in 2024 is completely different than how you land a job about one year or two years ago. In this video, I'm gonna break down the top four hiring trends to get ready in the surge hiring season and how would you prepare for the upcoming interviews and top eight companies are hiring aggressively right now. Stay until the end of this video where I'm going to share with you how much product managers are getting paid in those tier one companies right now. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product, Feature in Forbes. So I've helped thousand people land a dream PM job offer in fan companies and new income startup and continuously to get promoted as a product leader. The channel, we cover tech trends and free product management training. Like and subscribe, check out new video every Tuesday. I'm not gonna sugarcoat all the roller coasters, all the tech companies and healthcare and all other fintech companies have gone through regarding different kind of layoffs and rework right now. However, I have to tell you the market has turned. If you go to layoff chart right now, you can clearly see that the highest amount of layoff at the beginning of 2023 is 89,000 people. But right now, as we're filming this video in July, it's only less than 8,000 people layoff. So which is 10% of the top peak layoff season. And if you compare the entire layoff chart right now, where is the lowest number layoff. And now take a look at the stock market. People may be saying, hey, we might go through another recession. However, the stock market is saying no. The stock market keep on going up at the beginning of 2024. And right now we're at another historic high of the stock market. What this means is that all the public traded companies they have more and more cash in hand and they're ready to grow again to hire better talent in the job market. From the micro level, I also talk to many product managers who currently on the job market. I have people saying this in the 500 product manager group chat, saying that there are more and more recruiters reaching out to people to invite them for job interviews right now, compared with earlier this year. And with Impact Manager Accelerator, since March, every single week, we have more than 10 people having interviews or landing job offers from all the amazing companies out there. We also have seen the trend that the fan companies also start to hire more and more people, including Meta, Google, Amazon, and all those tier one companies. And the APM recruiting season for those fan company actually is starting in August. That's why lots of fresh graduates are getting ready for those APM roles. And actually filmed another video regarding how to break into APM in those tier one companies. You can check out more videos right here. Another interesting I've observed is that these company hiring and laying off actually change really fast. For example, Tesla just announced layoffs three months ago. Now they announced they're hiring another 800 employees to join the new company. Things change really fast in the tech space. The second trend I see in the market is definitely AI related jobs out there. I have talking to so many recruiters and they said they are clients and asking them to hire as many AI related roles as possible. And if you look at the existing job market, and there are so many more AI product management roles compared with traditional product management roles because all company has started to have those formal effect and they're really trying to figure out how can they use AI to advance their company and the value proposition competitiveness within the market. So they're adding more revenue and more resources into the AI domain. And any of our product manager accelerator students, whoever put a lot more AI on their resume, have much more higher chance of getting interviews as well. And here's also another insider tips regarding how fan company decide to hire more AI roles. For example, insider information in Amazon. Amazon certain department of Amazon, they start to lay off traditional product managers and also start to hire new AI product managers to replace traditional product managers. It's such a very brutal and sad news. However, it's showing that the market already has shifted Inside the PM Accelerator, 90% of our fan offers this year are in the AI domain. So therefore, I recommend all product managers out there start to get your hands dirty and upscale yourself by learning some AI knowledge. I have a top eight recommended AI courses for product managers. You should go to this website right here and download the list and start learning for free. Trend number three is a lot more AI assisted interviews. This is also a shocking news and brand new strategy for me to discover. And lots of my students, when they go out for interviews, and for companies as big as Oracle, as small as smaller startups. And they start to have interviewer to do first round interview by doing 
video recordings and interview with AI and have AI to review the answers with no human interactions. And a lot of candidates just auto-rejected within the first round of interviews right away and without even knowing what's wrong in the interview answer. In the upcoming interviews, I'm going to provide lots more tips and tricks regarding doing an AI video interviews to help you advance in the next level. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so be notified once the new AI interview videos will be available. Now here are those behind the scenes shocking news about AI. 43% of companies saying that they have been using AI in the hiring process. More than half the hiring managers believe that AI is going to replace the human in the hiring process completely. 15% of the recruiters saying that AI is able to make decisions on candidates and completely remove human intervention. And more than half of the hiring managers believe that eventually AI is going to replace hiring managers completely. Literally, this gives me goosebumps. If AI is used in this recruiting process, it's quite important to really hack those AI algorithms and get ahead. But I also think it's a little bit unethical for both sides of the table to use AI to prepare for interview and also hiring managers completely use AI to make decisions. But nevertheless, it's most important for all the product managers is try to get ahead of the game to become AI product manager so you can learn more about how to become an AI product manager in my free AI product management workshop right here. I'm also going to link it in the description of this video. Number four, a lot more take home exam and portfolio presentation during the interview process. Frequently, candidates were asked to do some take home exam even in the first round of interview, or some of them were asked to present a product portfolio in the final round interview. And sometimes they do a combo of both. You do take home exam and you come back to do a presentation of your discovery. And lots of candidates start to give up in the process because it takes it takes about like 20 hours to do take home exam or create a product portfolio and now it's finally your turn to present it and the company may or may not give you an offer towards the end and your efforts start going to a waste. And the best way to really save your time to do those take home exam is by using the right framework and quickly adding the answers into the existing framework I have created. I have filmed a separate training to teach you the five steps framework to create your take home exam that save you 80% of your time and effort. You should call this video right here. I'm also going to link it in the description of this video. Now let's also talk about what type of company are hiring aggressively. As I said, lots of big tech company has cash in hand and lots of AI company also raise a lots of funding and the layoff is also historically low. Now, let me give you top eight company that I believe is going to hire so many people just based on the public available data and also my insider secret for those companies. The company that hiring the most right now is actually TikTok. Even if earlier this year is a potential TikTok ban, however, the TikTok CEO is extremely aggressive. They make TikTok shop as a one of the most important strategy initiatives within the company. And then they hire so many people to join TikTok right now. TikTok ads, TikTok shop, TikTok save, TikTok AI trust and safety, everything TikTok. And if you go to the website right now, they're hiring over 2,350,000 product management related roles. I even have the director Plata reach out back to me saying that, Hey, Nancy, we have five different openings with my team. Please send lots of referrals to join my company. So there's a lot going on within the company. If you want to get free referrals into different type of tier one companies, comment referrals in this video. The second company I recommend is Amazon. As I said earlier, Amazon has a very aggressive culture. They're replacing some existing product managers and also hiring more AI product managers in some department. But Amazon as a whole is also growing dramatically through their Amazon Fresh, and, and Amazon.com businesses and Amazon Cloud. Right now, if you look up Amazon website, they're hiring over 500 product manager roles just by working for Amazon. The third company I recommend to look out for is Microsoft. Currently on Microsoft's website, they're hiring 196, almost 200 product managers already. And this number keep on going up in the past few months. Lots of my students are currently interviewing for Microsoft They mainly focus on interviewing for AI roles. That's what I believe majority of the growth opportunities is lies related to AI or adjacent roles. Fourth company I recommend is Capital One. Huge, huge, huge hiring headcount. Right now, as I'm filming this video on the website, they are hiring over 14,000 product managers. However, majority of those roles are more product owner type of title. I believe maybe in the banks, the different kind of title ranking and then their responsibility is slightly different from big tech companies. But if you are somebody looking into product management or product owner roles, there are so many opportunities in those banks. 
banks, such as Capital One and JP Morgan Chase. Now, let's talk about JP Morgan Chase. Currently, JP Morgan Chase is hiring over 3,877 plum managers and plum owners related roles on their website. This is a significant amount of hiring search where they believe that they're going to use technology to transform the traditional fintech. This is such a great opportunity for everybody to look into. Now let's get back to fan company. Let's talk about Google. Currently on Google's website, there are 1,358 product management related jobs out there. And specifically with product manager title that had over 197 different kind of product manager title out there was in Google. And even last week, we already have alumni recently joined Google. So Google and start to hiring faster and faster nowadays. Same as Meta. Meta currently have over 481 product manager jobs on their website and they are literally also growing and this social media company also start to grow and start to innovate much more faster. However, get ready when you interview with Meta, the team match process actually become harder and harder because lots of teams really want to find the best candidate to match the talent with the future jobs they will be doing. So get ready to do your team match more efficiently with Meta. Company number eight is Salesforce and right now Salesforce has over 830 three product manager jobs on their website and this is also another major opportunity for everybody to look into now let's also reveal the secret of how much product manager is getting paid in 2024 the latest salary i negotiated is working for one of those eight companies i just mentioned it's getting paid at half million dollars right now and she's just a senior product manager working for those companies. And even for non-senior product managers, it's still getting over $250,000 per year. And if you're able to join one of those top eight tier one companies I just mentioned. As I said earlier, lots of companies even introduce AI as part of the hiring process. So all the product manager must start to learn those kind of AI fundamental knowledge immediately so you're going to be ahead of the curve of AI disruption. So make sure to go to this website and download top eight AI courses I've selected for all of you guys. I know lots of you guys are getting ready for the search hiring season. Now I want everyone to go to this playlist to see all the product management interview questions and sample answers to get ready for your upcoming interview. This is Dr. Nancy Lee from PMXSeriter.io. I'm going to see you in my next video right here.